be sure to like, subscribe, and also follow me on Twitter at Afroboy underscore. Let's get into this vid. What's good, YouTube? Oh my gosh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> What's good, YouTube? You're kicking in with Afro Boy here. And in today's video, the topic is iPhones. All right, so without further ado, let's hop into this vid, all right? So, guys, it's, 20, it's 2016 right now, all right? Do y'all know what's happening next year in 2017? Guess what? It is Apple's anniversary. 10 year anniversary for the first ever iPhone that came out. So you know what that means, Apple loves to do anniversaries. So could it be possible that Apple would skip the 7S next year and just go straight to the 8? Now this can also be to keep up with the Galaxy because you know the Galaxy will be called the Galaxy 8 next year. Well, it might be depending on how you know the companies feel, but could it be possible that we will be seeing no S next year? Hmm, let's think about this. Um, wow, but just saying, get iPhone 8. This sounds weird. It sounds weird to me. iPhone 8, Galaxy 8. It just doesn't sound right. You know, iPhone 7, iPhone 6, iPhone 5. Those sound the good. Galaxy, you know, Galaxy 6, Galaxy 7. You know, those sound good. But 8, 8 just sounds just such a weird number. Imagine if they go up to 9, iPhone 9. But no, we're not even going to get into that. We're talking about the iPhone 8 right now. Just like I said, it could be possible that they will be skipping the 7S next year and just going straight to 8. So, after saying that, that gets us um, down to the headphone jack. As you know, it has been rumors and report, and I, I guess it's been confirmed that Apple will be getting rid of the headphone jack on the iPhone 7. Now, since the anniversary is next year, I don't know why I did that. Let me calm down. Gala kind of take your advice. Man, nah, let me take your advice. Shout out to them. Be sure to subscribe to them. But yeah, so. <laughs> <clears throat> now, could it be possible that. Apple will be downplaying the iPhone 7, right? So in other words, they're getting rid of the headphone jack, right? Everybody's mad about that because headphone jack, who gets rid of the headphone jack? That's been in phones for who knows how long, you know? That's how we listen to music. That's how, you know, it's just aux cord. That's how we do all of that. If you don't have that in the moment, you're gonna use the, um, the lightning cable and stuff. So could it be possible that they will be downplaying the iPhone 7 so that way when the iPhone 8 comes out, guess what? We're already used to no headphone jack, and whatever they do with the iPhone 8, just imagine what they can do, all right? We're talking 2017, hopefully they do something. And guess what? Everybody's mad about the iPhone 7, but when the iPhone 8 comes out, everybody's gonna be all over the iPhone 8. So it could be a marketing scheme, all right? So that's, that could be what's happening, that could be what iPhone, I mean, well, Apple is doing, all right? And yes, everybody's gonna be sad about the headphone jack, yeah. But people will get over it because then they're gonna realize that them talking about it isn't gonna change anything. For instance, Galaxy, all right? They got rid of what? Removable batteries. Everybody complained about it. Did they bring it back? No, all right? So bye bye headphone jack. You're not gonna see that ever again on the iPhone, all right? Trying to move over to Bluetooth, all right? And don't give me, I don't like Bluetooth to be honest because I try, I use Bluetooth in my, in a, in a car. It, it, sometimes it just doesn't work, man. I mean, you be playing the music, you know, you be bopping, you be bobbing, you know what I'm saying? And then this one gets stuck, and then it starts fast forwarding because it's trying to catch up with the phone, and there's always a lag in it because you know it's Bluetooth, it's wireless connected. But if you got an aux cable, you just plug it in, and it's you know it's no problem. See, that's that's the re that's the difference between aux and Bluetooth. I like aux better because it's directly plugged in. You don't have to worry about it, anything. But if it's wireless, then it might be some drops and everything. Man, let me, hey man, can I pair my uh, phone with your Bluetooth? What? So, you know, I guess it's pros and cons with the iPhone 7 losing headphone jack. Um, I guess one of the pros would be it would be skinnier, but I don't know about why would you want it skinnier because then it would be like an freaking iPod or a mind your iPod. Wait, but that doesn't even make sense though. The iPod is skinnier than the iPhone. So why would they get rid of the headphone jack to make it skinnier? Or is it skinnier? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section what you think about that. Do you think if the iPhone, I mean, if the iPod is skinnier than the iPhone, why would they get rid of the headphone jack? Why would that be a reason for them to get rid of the headphone jack? 
Be sure to like like this video, subscribe if you're new, and also in the comments, tell me what you think about what's going on with Apple, what they're doing, and what are your thoughts on maybe them going to the iPhone 8 next year instead of the 7S. It's the one on the Apple boy, and I'm out. Peace.